Hi everyone! Welcome back to Angel's Heavenly Nails. Although I'm coming at you with a recipe. A keto recipe. A huge, delicious, high in fat breakfast, pancakes, bacon, and eggs. Yum! I can't wait for you guys to watch the video. I show you the recipe of making the pancakes and all the rest is in there. You guys know all the rest and I hope you enjoy this video and I hope you are enjoying all of my videos. Thank you for all the subscriptions. You guys are fantastic. All your comments are so, so awesome. I am speechless whenever I read them. I just can't believe how many comments I get and I can't thank you guys enough. You guys are fantastic and I love you all. Let's get started on today's video. Please like it if you did. Send me a comment down in my box. And please share around. Subscribe if you have not yet. And hit that notification. Do you seriously want to miss any of these videos? Especially a keto power breakfast? Let's get started on today's video. I love you all so much. Have a great Wednesday. Okay, hey everybody, here's what I'll be using in my keto breakfast. I've got everything ready. We got the two eggs I will need, two ounces of cream cheese, a fourth cup of cinnamon, and one package of stevia. Stevia has, when it's in the pack, it has two carbs. If you buy the liquid form, it has no carb. I am out of that right now, so I have to, I have to take it within the package. And then I'm going to make some bacon with it. Get this out of the way. Bacon has no carb. So I'm gonna get it in my blender here, and then I'm gonna get it over to my pan. I'll be back to show you. I would show you this step, but the blender's so loud. But you can see I've got everything out here, so that's what you will need. And if you're allergic to cinnamon, you don't have to use the cinnamon. It just makes it taste better. It makes it taste more like a uh, French toast. So it's just up to you. That is optional, though. Be back. Here's my mixture, all ready to go. Real quick, I just wanted to tell you that bacon is zero carb, like I said but don't buy any bacon that would have like a maple flavor. This is sugar cured, but that's okay. This one is zero carb. But yeah, you wouldn't want to buy a flavored bacon that would have a sweetness to it, like a maple or whatever. So there's my bacon cooking, and I'm gonna get this into my hot pan. Be right back. Hey, real quick before I leave, I noticed in my video when I was doing those pancakes, I saw this in the background. Thought maybe you guys were interested to know. This is what I used as I was losing weight for every pound I lost. I threw one over and I started with this color. This was the actual goal weight for me was that first and it, look at all those crazy 136 to be precise but the blue ones were the ones I started with and then I wasn't satisfied yet with my weight so then I started doing the red ones and there's 17 more left in here to go and I will be at my ultimate goal weight. Fun way of losing weight guys when you're losing every pound you lose you throw one over. Just thought I would share that with you guys. Keto power. All right, here's my pan with the hot butter in it. I used a tablespoon of butter. It is on a little bit lower than medium heat. And I'm gonna pour this in now. And you're gonna let this cook for about three minutes on each side. And you're gonna get like a ton of little bubbles in there. That's what you want. You want the little bubbles and then you're gonna flip it. So about two, three minutes on each side. I'll be right back. Mmm, look at that. All nice and golden brown. Cooking it up on the other side, and I will return. Look at how nice and fluffy this is. Oh, it makes such a good pancake. I'm gonna enjoy a couple of eggs with it too, and bacon, like I said from the beginning, yum. So for my pancake here, I'm gonna use a pat of butter on it. That's right, I'm using butter because I need the fat. Yum, yum, yum. That's what you need on this diet. You need the fat because that's your energy source. And then I'm gonna use this Hungry Jack, crack, <laughs> Hungry Jack sugar-free syrup, butter flavor. And if you look on the back of here, it is eight carbs. And like I told you before, you can deduct alcohol sugar, but not all of it. They said that you can deduct all of it, but people are finding out now that you cannot, you can deduct half of it. So that would make it around like 4.5 for a fourth a cup. Well, I am not going to be using a fourth a cup. That's an awful lot of syrup. So mine is only gonna be around a carb because I'm gonna use about a tablespoon. So yeah, I just wanted to show you that's what I'll be putting on my pancake. Okay, check this breakfast out. Isn't this insane? You can eat like this and lose weight. I mean, real butter. The pancakes were made with cream cheese, the bacon. Think about all the fat you're eating. But we were fooled our whole life. 
fat is actually good for us when you don't eat the carb. And I can't stress that enough. I have the best blood work ever and I eat like this every day. So the whole carb count on this breakfast is eight carbs. Isn't that insane? If I would have added toast instead of the pancake or I would have had pancakes, real pancakes, and these taste just as good, if not better, I've made them for my whole family and they absolutely love them. But if I would have made real pancakes or toast, you're looking at about 40, you know, like 35 to 50 grams of carb. Isn't this insane? And mine is eight carbs. Ooh, I can't wait to dive into this. Thank you guys so much for watching. And like I always say, low carb, high fat is the way to go.